This is the Power for Power Unboxing Show. I'm Jermaine. I'm joined alongside middleweight boxer Liam Williams. Thanks for coming on, mate. Absolute pleasure. No problem at all, mate. Um, please, please to help you and give you my time. Thanks, champ. Thanks, champ. So I want to ask you, obviously, how's, how's training going on? Do you know when the update on your next fight will be? Yeah, I'm, uh, so I'm obviously I'm in I'm in camp, not in camp as such, but I'm I'm at the gym. I'm in Sheffield, you know, training. So it's just a case of keeping myself fit, um, not allowing myself to get out of shape, not too out of shape anyway. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm just trying to stay reasonably fit and, and active, you know, until um, until the date is is finally set. So for now, it's just just trying to enjoy it as much as I can and just take over. Obviously, you mentioned Sheffield and obviously you train at the Ingle gym. Uh, for me, I'm a big fan of Dominic Ingle and, and the guys there. And obviously, you uh, in the same stable with the likes of uh, Kid Galahad and, uh, and, and, and more. Uh, what's it like training in that gym? It's such an iconic gym. Yes, an unbelievable gym, mate. Um, yeah, you know, there's, there's a lot of good fighters out there. Um, but, you know, a lot of the lads in the gym that are my mates, and um, it's great to be training alongside the likes of these people. Um, and having such a good coach in Dom, so and the gym itself, as you said, is so iconic, you know. So, um, there's a certain feel to the gym you walk in, and um, I don't know, it's just this, it's just an uplifting place to be, it's a good place to be, hey. Of course, man. I was, you, you, had, you had plenty of world champions come from that gym as well. Dom's a fantastic, fantastic coach as well, as was the great man behind him behind it as well. Uh, uh, Brendan as well, absolute legend as well. So it has so much history that gym for me as well. Uh, as being a boxing fan, you all know about that gym. Uh, obviously, you you mentioned about sticking over for a fight. The fight will be against obviously hoping to get a world title shot against this guy, Demetrius Andres. For me, I want to ask you, obviously. I remember you fought on the Dubois v. Gorman undercards and uh, you won with a brilliant knockout at night. And I think that was a fight you was actually made a mandatory for his world title. Are you surprised that it's taken so long for a deal to be finalised for this fight? Yeah, I mean, it's it's been a bit of a long time coming in there. Like, I, um, I've been mandatory for a little while, you know, no, not an extreme amount of time. But, I mean, like, I've, I've kind of been knocking on the door for some time now and... I'm calling for the big names and, you know, everybody's saying that they deserve the big names. But, you know, for whatever reason, my chance hasn't come yet and, and I've had to force myself into the, this position now. Um, it's exciting times ahead and I can't wait. I can't wait to get my opportunity and I'm not going to let it pass. I'm going to grab it with both hands. I, I can't wait for this fight when it does get made. Uh, obviously, yeah, you mentioned you have been in the for some time now. Uh, I want to ask you, some people will say, do you believe that Demetrius Andre has kind of like cherry-picked his way past a few fights in, in, in terms of making you wait and fighting guys who, who, who he's expected to beat? Of course, yeah. Uh, he's obviously very good. Let's not take that away from him. He's, he's three-time world champion at two different you know weight classes, so you you can't be no good and and win that amount of you know titles and um, that amount of fights being unbeaten you know so credit where it's there he is good uh, but I just believe I'm all wrong for him and I believe I'm I genuinely believe I'm too good for him and that's that's going to show when the fight does take place. Yeah, I can't wait. Like I said, and uh, I want to ask you what what makes you think that you could beat him? What what sort of uh... Weaknesses in his game? Do you see that you can exploit? You know, the, he, <clears throat> he's got he's pretty good all round. To be fair, um, there are certain weaknesses which we've picked up on. Um, he can be very reckless at times. Um, start swinging for the hills, and you know, thinking thinking he can wipe people out. But I don't believe he's actually that big of a puncher, and he. He can't afford to be reckless against someone like me because I'm gonna I'm gonna make him pay for it and, and I'm gonna hit him and hurt him. I'm gonna hurt him every time I hit him. I know. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I've, I've seen you live 
if you have now, uh, if you do it, <laughs> you, you, you do land some pack of a punch, honestly, and uh, I see you knock out a few guys. And I just, like I said, the fight I've been waiting for, and a few friends of mine have been waiting for for a long, long time. And I'm glad you're finally going to get the opportunity to fight for a world title, which you probably do deserve. Uh, obviously, I want to ask you a little bit. Obviously, we're going to talk about, about, about obviously your fight coming up. I want to talk about this week's fight coming up between Saunders and Murray for the superweight, middleweight, w, uh, WBO world title. What do you make of this fight? And who can you see winning this fight? I think it's a good fight. You know, I've got, I've got a lot of respect for both men. Um, I've, I've obviously trained alongside Billy in the past. Uh, Martin Murray, another cracking fighter. He's been around for a long time. He has got a lot of miles on the clock. But who knows? I, I favour Saunders, you know, but I believe he's going to win by a nice clear points decision. Um, and, you know, Billy Joe's a very, very good uh talented and, and skillful fighter so he's you know he's Murray's never going to outbox him put it that way but he's got a lot of heart he's got a good chin and you know he's got some determination as well so I believe as, as long as he comes in fit he's made the weight right he's going to make a good fight of her but I do you know at the end of the night I, I do believe Saunders is going to win quite convincingly yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's going to be a cracker fight. Obviously, for me, uh, two well-known boxers. You've obviously got a uh, world champion in, in, in Billy Joe. Murray's fought at the highest level. Fought the last. Mur Murray's boxing. always in. He's always in a good, uh, entertaining fight, isn't he? He's, he's, you know, he's hard as they come. So, respect to him, and you know, I really like him as a person. He's a nice fella, um, and he seems he seems like a proper family man. And you know, respect for he's you can't beat that. Of course, of course. He's a, like I said, he seems like a great family man. He, tough fighter. Like I said, he's been in there with the, with the top fighters in, in, in the, uh, the division as well. So he knows what it takes to be in there with these sort of guys. And as a fighter, what, what uh, British fans are going to love. It's going to be a good boxing fight. And uh, yeah, I, mean, I would say to anyone who definitely going to watch it, uh, definitely to tune in because it's going to be a great fight. Uh, obviously, when they go back to yourself, And then we'll talk a bit about your fights with uh, Liam Smith. Obviously, <coughs> two cracking fights. Didn't go the way you, you wanted, obviously. But uh, would you ever rule out opportunity of a trilogy? Definitely not, mate. No, I'd, um, it's a fight I'd love to get, you know, to get made again. Um, to, to give me my opportunity to try and avenge the losses. See the fat dog, yeah. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> yeah, so um, I, I love you. I think I might have lost the sound to them. Oh, oh, there you go. I think I put my hand over the mic, sorry. Um, yeah, I think I'd love the opportunity to, to get my own back on Liam Smith. But it is what it is. If it happens, then happy days I'll be over the moon, but if not... I've got my my own things going on, and I'm excited where my, you know, my own trails are taking me right now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, like I said, two cracking fights. I think the the public love that fight, and if obviously you do guys keep winning, I'm sure that fight will get made for a trilogy, no doubt. Uh, it's a it's a great fight, and I'm sure obviously you love to make it happen again as well. Yeah, I hope so, mate. Um, hopefully, I can go and win a world title at middleweight, and I'm pretty sure that. You know, as long as I do win it, I'm pretty sure that Smith would he'd bite my hand off for a crack at that. So, uh, and you know, I know he's been at like Melway for a long time. Caught up, sorry, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> um, I know he's been at like Melway for a long time, and I don't think he makes the weight too comfortably because even when I boxed him the first time, he failed weight. Um, so that just goes to show, and that was like what four years ago now, maybe. Roughly, so I know we, I know he'd be um, more than interested to come up and, and fight for a middleweight title, which you'd be a fool not to really. It's like if I got offered a, a super middleweight world ch world title fight, I'd, I'd move up, you know, for my next fight. 
of course, it's an opportunity, the opportunity to, to become a world champion again. And uh, I'm sure, like I said, I think that would add more value to the fight as well. Obviously, a title being on the line for me that would do numbers. For me, that that could for me it could be a stadium fight without a doubt. Uh, it's that big to be that big of a fight for a world title. Uh, where would you like if you if if you could fight defend your world title if, when you for me when you do beat, beat uh, Demetrius Andre, where would you like to fight if, in a stadium? What stadium would it be ideal for you? Um, Millennium Stadium, Cardiff Principality Stadium, um, be something like that. Be amazing. Yeah, I mean, two fantastic venues. Uh, I've been I've been to both. Uh, fantastic, obviously. I've been to both to watch uh, boxing and, and football and uh, absolutely amazing venues. And obviously, if to be another, have a lap, obviously, a Welshman like yourself fighting there as well, I'm sure you'll do numbers in terms of the crowds, would be absolutely fantastic. Yeah, ro- rolling it back to the days of likes of Calzaghi. And, you know, so obviously, it, I look up to Calzaghi. He's, a, he's an amazing fighter and, uh, and a friend. Absolute legend, absolute legend, uh, Joey was. Uh, I want to ask you a bit about the fight that happened over the weekend. Uh, Dubois versus Joyce. I don't know if you watched the fight. Uh, and if you did watch the fight, what do, you, what do you make of the fight? To be honest with you, I didn't watch it. I had I had a couple of things on. I would have liked to have watched it, but I just got a bit caught up in a few things that night. So, I've heard a lot about it, but you know, I'm, I'm not going to make any judgments until... Until I see what happened for myself. In fact, after I finish this, I'm gonna put it on YouTube, you know. So um, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll check it out and um, I'll make my own assessment. Obviously, you haven't watched the fight, but what do you say to some people saying, obviously, the bar can't come back from this and stuff like that? For a young man, uh, what what sort of words of encouragement would you say to to Bois if you could? It's it's stupid because you can't just write somebody off like that. Look at I lost to Liam Smith. Uh, well, maybe four years. I think I was like 20, 24, 25. Yeah, 24, 25. And, you know, that's that's older than Dubois. I lost. And look at the way I've come back. It just depends what kind of mindset he has. Uh, and as long as he takes, you know, some of the negatives as, as positive and ways to learn from and, and come back better from it, then I, then I believe he'll come back and still do very well and probably achieve the things he set out to achieve. 100%, 100%. Uh, like I said, uh, for me, he's not over yet. He's still a young, young man and uh, he's got a long career to go. But also, I want to ask you, obviously, with Joe Joyce winning the fight and he is now uh, expected to maybe fight Usyk if Annie Joshua vacates his titles, fight uh, Pass and Fury. What do you make of that fight if it, it materialises? It's a good fight. Um, Joyce is Joyce is um, he's very strong, very athletic for a big guy, you know. Um, I think he makes a good fight of it, but um, Usyk is, you know, he's, he's very good at him. Um, he can move. He's, he's got all the skills. Um, it's a good fight because I don't think like stop. Hey. Dogs bite him. <laughs> um, I don't think he's as good at middleweight, at uh, middleweight, heavyweight. He's, um, you know, he's obviously a bit heavier and a bit slower on his foot, feet and whatnot. So, I think I think Joyce would be in with. I don't see why he wouldn't have a chance, you know. I don't know. I mean, obviously they they fought before when. Uh... Uh, uh, Joe Joyce was a novice and obviously uh, Usyk was two-time Olympic champion so obviously a lot's changed since then obviously what Joyce has achieved since then as well has been remarkable and obviously what Usyk's gone on to achieve in terms of being the common undisputed cruiserweight champion so I'm sure if that fight does get made it would be, be a cracking fight and uh, yeah one that fans would love to see Yeah mate definitely I agree I would uh, I'd be interested and I'd be watching definitely so, Liam, what what do you say to the fans? Obviously, when you're obviously got a fight coming up now, what do you see? The, what your big goals for be for next year in terms of go, going forward with your career? Um, just just the obvious, really. Um, obviously, I want to go and win a world title early next year. Um, 
I mean, just go one step at a time. But obviously, my my goal is to win a world title and get some big defenses and and try and secure some big names. One more question, obviously, before I let you let you go. There's also it's a fight coming up, which is uh, next month between Canelo and Callan, Callan Smith. What do you make of this fight? And can you see Callan Smith uh, kind of shocking the world and getting getting a win there? I don't know. Let's be honest. It's, it's it's going to be very hard to write Canelo off, but I do think Callan Smith is probably going to give him a very good fight. I wouldn't be. Answer, I would be surprised if Callum beat him, but I don't know, it's a difficult one because I do like Callum Smith as well. He's he's very good, very good. Uh he's a lot bigger than Canelo. Um he's been fighting at Super Millweight for a long time. He's massive for Super Millweight. And I think he could cause him trouble, but but who knows? I'm not I I'm finding it very difficult to make a prediction and say I was gonna go because Obviously, when it comes to Canelo, he's he's the man right now, isn't he? So it's hard to go against him. Yeah, of course. Obviously, what Canelo has achieved in the sport is is unbelievable, and obviously, but like I said, uh, Callum is uh, a big guy as well. But he can cause Canelo a few problems in a fight that he believes he, he can probably can win. And uh, obviously, he's got experience in terms of leon has been in there with him as well, so I'm sure he can give him a bit of. Of tips there, but this is a fight which is going to be which is going to be a great fight and the one that is uh, I'm looking forward to. Yeah, mate, definitely. Um, like I said, I, I'm excited to watch. I think it'd be a good fight. Um, yeah, that's all it is, really. I just I'm looking forward. It's going to be entertaining. Before you go, one more thing. What message would you say to Demetrius Andre and obviously Eddie Hearn and them guys there regarding your fight coming up? Just, just be ready because um, there's going to be a takeover. There's a, there's a new man on the block, and yeah, just be ready because I'm, I'm firing all, all cylinders, and I can't wait. They can't come quick enough for me. Brilliant, champ! I can't wait for this. I can't wait for this fight. An absolute pleasure uh, taking the time for joining me on the Pound for Pound Boxing Show, mate. And uh, all the best for your fight and uh, training as well. And I look forward to seeing you back in the ring soon. Yeah, good man. Thank you. Appreciate it, pal. Take care, man. See you later, mate. Ta-da, mate. Ta-da. Yes,